it's the insurance claim you can't make. The value a vehicle loses after a crash, even when it's been repaired properly. It's called diminished value, and it has drivers feeling the impact of an accident long after the crash when they try to sell the vehicle. Rosa Marcatelli from our Go Public unit investigates. As soon as it was hit, Bill Brown knew his five-month-old SUV was worth thousands less even after the repairs were done properly. He also knew owners have to disclose damage to vehicles over $2,000 to potential buyers. $15,000 damage done to the car, and I knew that when I sold that, I would have to uh, disclose that, and it would be worth less than if it had not been in an accident. He took the at-fault driver, in his case, to small claims court, taking on two lawyers hired by the driver's insurance company. Initially, Brown was awarded $6,000 in damages for diminished value. But on appeal, that award was cut dramatically. And he had to pay legal costs for the other side, leaving him $1,000 in the hole. These battles are fought at the uh, small claims level. They're, they're not for large amounts. Not, the amount is not large enough to warrant paying a, legal, a, a lawyer. So most Canadians are going to end up, as I did, representing themselves. And it's not, a, not an even battle. Drivers can't get coverage for diminished value anywhere in Canada. That's not the case in certain U.S. states where insurance companies are required to pay. They're pretty much the same vehicle. But if you were to consider one has been in an accident repaired, you know, to spec. We asked potential buyers what they're willing to pay for a vehicle that's been in a crash. Would you pay the same amount for the one in the accident? No, I don't think so. Would you pay the same amount for a vehicle that's been in an accident, even if it was repaired? <sighs> no, I'd, I'd want to definitely pay less. CBC's Marketplace looked at this issue seven years ago, and things have changed a little, according to this vehicle appraiser who often testifies for drivers in diminished value claims. He says some insurance companies are now willing to negotiate settlements if drivers ask. With the legal costs rising and, uh, and the more and more incidents with more and more drivers, the insurers are interested in the most economical end to the to the situation, so that it behooves them to negotiate. The problem, he says, is proving a dollar amount, exactly how much a driver will lose when they go to sell the car. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary.